Thanks for tuning in to the channel. Please contact Collins Inc. located in Smithfield, North Carolina for these great products. Okay. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Thanks for tuning in and seeing my walkthrough of my new 2021 Z21 Nitro that I got from Collins Marine in Smithfield, North Carolina. Uh, been a little late getting it out. It's been a busy spring through the pandemic. Some of the things were a little slow getting to me. But let me show you uh, my new ride. Switch it from a Ranger. After only three Rangers, this is my first Nitro. So let me tell you all about it. Z21 comes with the color scheme is uh, voodoo, jet, voodoo blue gel. My wife picked that out. Turns out she picked the winner because after we'd ordered it, turns out Bass Pro Shops thought it was the number one seller. Color too. This is what they use in their centerfold in their magazine. You see, it comes with C deck instead of the old rubber top. It's in C deck. All the countries are going to right now. The top to step up onto. Really sharp looking logos, decals. I went with the upgraded tires. Can't tell you if I'm owning my last several, last three boats I've had have not had oversized wheels. These are oversized and premium. They are worth the money. They, uh, you see how sharp they look. I suspect that I'll have to change out tires a lot less often. Uh, let me show you real quick. Walk around the boat. Let's take a look at the power horse. This is where everything's at right here on the back of this boat. The Mercury Pro XS 250 four stroke. I switched from the Yamaha Show, which was a great motor. But hands down, I'm I can't tell you how impressed I am with the Pro Mercury Pro four stroke. This thing is awesome. Uh, comes factory with a three blade three blade a three blade Fury prop. Um, I'm happy with that. I also upgraded when I ordered my Nitro. I asked for a uh, power pole blade over the talon and uh, one reason I want a power pole is guys I can't tell you service wise power pole has been hands down the best company to do service work with uh, anything you need they're Johnny on the spot getting you the, par the parts and stuff you need to get back to fishing and uh, so they've been just a great a great company to work with so I got the 8 foot power pole blade there used to be the old Ranger fold up step. That thing used to flop down on me all the time. When I show they come up with a single step process with a handle. Pull yourself up. Snaps right down. There you go. Pretty simple. Uh, TH Marine. Uh, they changed their Atlas jack, jack plate. They used to be silver. They still sell them in chrome and silver. But they've got this black. It looks really sharp right now. Matches the color scheme. And let me show you underneath the boat. I've got an LED package, a lighting package. A $750 upgrade, well worth the money. The LED lights. So whatever color I've got the LEDs on the inside of the boat, it lights up the, light, the water underneath the boat from those three LEDs. And there is the uh, side scan mount for the Hummingbird. That's where the wood, it was mounted at. Got retractable boat straps, just like Rangers. Again, I can't tell you to step up on this. Easy step on. Really like the way that they laid out that step, stepping up onto the boat. Uh, let's walk around, take a look. A good upgrade was what worth money, and that's the middle cleat by the passenger side tile. I want to remember to order, put that on your on your order list when you're ordering your new nitro. Come on around the boat. It comes with a full-size spare, full-size handle, and a matching rim. Also, Nitro, it's got an armor trailer just like the Ranger trailer. Really nice. Be to keep the rust from any rust damage getting on it. Here's a uh, storage compartment. Nitro's included in their trailer. It's a great place for storing chop blocks for wheel chocks. And they put a, uh, I think pretty standard on all of them with the uh, step up onto the boat. Step up, easy access to the boat. Comes with a full size, a really nice Fulton uh, winch system. That's a really 
really nice winch system that they put on here. Come on around to the other side. This is my uh, second Ultrex trolling motor. Can't brag enough about Minn Kota's Ultrex. They are awesome. And this one came, when I ordered it, I asked for the Hummingbird 360, so it came pre-installed when I got the unit. I also installed the uh, TX Marine Troller Motor tra Tamer. You know that's a uh, there that's an awesome add-on to add on to your boat. Also comes with a very heavy-duty Fulton trailer jack with an oversized wheel for pushing around in the garage. Comes with a uh, pre-wired uh, trailer cable with a uh, man. That's, this pre-wired trailer cable is something I installed, added on to my old Ranger, and uh, it's, this comes factory installed. It's worth the money. Come on up inside the boat and we'll take a look. Let's take a look. This is the pass passenger side. It comes with a really nice gas shaft, easy access. We'll climb on board. Move up to the front of the boat. We'll take a look at the front of the boat to start with. On the front of the boat, we got the Minn Kota Oil Track again. Installed as the TH Marine Cable Organizer, Total Motor Cable Organizer, to hide all my cables. And just to let you know, I was really looking for a video and I couldn't find a video showing me how to install the Precision Sonar's triple threat or how anybody had a triple display unit set up. A lot of people were putting them on a ram mount on the side. I wanted to have every, have all this free for flipping and walking around. So this is called the triple mount. Triple threat mount from Precision Sonar. I got two Solex 10s and a Garmin 9 inch screen. This is, uh, I run the Hummingbird 360 on one. And the other one I run 2D Sonar with mapping. And then the live scope is run on the Garmin. And you see I've got my live scope mounted on my foot of my motor. Uh, power pole buttons. Can't recommend those enough. It's $100 for a set of them. They're a must to have on the boat. Come on back here and we'll take a look at how these, uh, the deck lid. This is the front end of the deck. You see it's got an awesome, super wide deck on the, on the Z21. We'll take a look at the storage compartments and this storage compartment comes with some super really really nice magnets to hold up your baits and uh, it also holds my bane it'll hold your bane fishing lure up, uh, uh, can up there here's where all your storage is at you see I've got all these Plano boxes it does a great job of organizing your Plano boxes tons of storage space Here's some additional tackle storage. Uh, some love notes and pictures from my wife and kids. Give me some inspiration throughout the day. And here's where I keep my day my day box for lures and stuff. I just throw those in there. Some dips and some other things. Oh, let me show you this cool little feature. That right there is the key fob that controls. I, we'll cover this key fob in just a minute. Over on this side, I store terminal tackle. Got a lot of little boxes for the terminal tackle, as well as soft plastics. On the, on the driver's side, rod locker, I've got spinning rods, and I've got probably six or seven spinning rods stored in there. This is where the live scope brain is installed. Also, the Ethernet hub for the uh, hummingbirds. Rain gear, hooks. Uh, some drop shot plastics, some GoPro equipment, uh, even a paddle that comes factory from the factory from uh, Nitro. We'll take a look at the, my rod locker. Inside the rod locker, you got nine rod tubes, and underneath the rod tubes is an open space, so you can store probably another, at least another dozen rods or so underneath. The, the rod tube organizer 
I'd say you'd easily be able to store in here at least 30 rods and have them well organized. Let's take a look at the cooler on this thing. That's a big advantage over my last boat that had a small cooler. This holds about 50 pounds of ice and it's well insulated. It's got a trash can, a little storage box on the side to keep the sandwiches dry. Lots of cool plier holders, cup holders. Moving back, you got a golden rule. This is I've had this rule since I've ever, since I've been bass fishing. It's a uh, it's a must have on lights that have a 20 inch slot limit. Sharon Harris has a 20 inch slot limit. It's where my wife and I set the record of 47 pounds of five bass, and they had that rule a long time. Now let's take a look at the passenger seat. I got the uh, as I said, a thousand dollars, about 750 dollars extra to add the second console. You can see it's well worth it. Got a super deep storage area inside. I mean, there's so much storage inside there. In fact, I'm trying to figure out a way to, to better organize that storage because it's so big. And underneath it is where your co-anglers uh, rod organizers at. It looks like it holds up this uh, eight rods on the co-angler side. It's got another cool storage box. Inside this storage box, I've got lure retrievers and some buoys. Uh, take a look at the driver's seat. On the driver's side, I've got a Solex 12 that came from the factory. Mercury Smart gauges. Comes with a trim gauge for the uh, motor and an Atlas jack plate trim gauge. Comes with a digital display. Put that boot up. This is what your key fob, in case your key pad goes out, you can control it with a key fob if the pad goes out. But I haven't heard any problems with anybody losing a problem with the keypad. So first fish, that means for the co-angler side, you press that button and it automatically fills the co-angler's live well full. Once it senses it's full, it turns it to recirculate and turns the oxygenator on. Same for the boater side, first fish. On the second live well, press that button and it does the same thing. So it, it kind of makes it super easy to manage your fish. There's all switches. If you need to manually set them, you can manually set them. This RGB mixer, that's the LED light system program that's uh, all the way around the carpet on the boat. There is an LED bar that goes all the way around the entire boat and underneath the boat. And you can pick whatever color you want it to be lights up the whole boat really cool feature 750 buck upgrade 750 dollar upgrade to add that it's well worth it my son calls it the rainbow here's the led package that come you can get installed on your nitro you can see you can pick any color turn it on Change the color. Pretty cool feature. So, comes when you order, when you get two power pole blades, you get two sets of these buttons as well as two lanyards. So I put one here, it's pretty much where everybody puts them. I put the other one up here, came up from Major League Fishing. I got that idea from those guys. Also comes factory, a cell phone mount from a, a RAM mount for your cell phone. Dual live well, open and closed for the passenger, for the co-angler on the boater side. Comes standard with a TH Marine hot foot. And got Dalco cruise air seat so it's an electric seat it's got air cushion lumbar support and uh, it makes for a nice air ride 
it's a really nice feature to have on the boat. I'll say this, I've owned, a, I've owned three Rangers and they were awesome boats. But by far, I can tell you, I feel like this gives me a better ride than all three of my Rangers. I'm not sure how much of it the Dalco air cushion seats playing a role, but I can tell you, this is a smooth riding boat in rough water. Let me show you the, uh, oh, each one of the seats, the passenger seat and the driver's side seat have adjustable, so you can slide back. They're on a, they're on a track, the passenger seat as well. And you got net storage behind the uh, passenger seat. I'm able to store my gigantic striper net that I've had ever since I've been tournament fishing. I'm able to store that big thing behind the seat. Uh, let me show you real quick. I ordered my boat with the uh, middle seat with my son and my daughter and my wife. I figured we needed as much seating as we could get in the boat. And so I went ahead and ordered it. I wasn't sure you know, how this would affect me fishing but after I got it I realized just how easy it is to take in and out underneath is easy access to your gas tanks change out do any service work you need to do on your gas tanks let me show you how easy the seat comes off pop these clips off there you go I keep that in the garage now I've got a nice carpet to step up, I'm not going to tear up the seat, climbing in and out, my, my co-anglers walking to the back deck. So it's pretty much where I'll probably fit tournament fish, is just like the way you see it right here. I'll put that seat back in when the family goes out. You got your rule for nitro to measure with. It's a great rule, but it only works for a 15 inch fish. Hence the reason I've got the, the big golden rule in the bottom of the boat. One of the big reasons uh, I went with Nitro too is that the live well systems are the, probably the best in the industry. You can see it's got a baffling system to keep the fish from jumping out. Uh, it's well insulated. It's got uh, it's, it's super deep, hold a ton of water. It comes factory installed with cold clips manager and comes with TH clips. I, of course, I didn't use TH clips. Uh, has an oxygenator inside each driver side and the passenger side and as I said they operate independently you got a key fob to, to use it or the the single button push that's the live well system take a look at the other storage we got the storage behind the driver side I've got close to 100 pounds of plastics in there and uh, that box is removable and there's additional storage underneath that take a look at that see what I can't remember if I stored anything under that I've got a my first aid kits underneath there so that's where I store my first aid kit behind the passenger side got my life jackets and I've got additional storage underneath there got my son's life jacket more plastic some some more jig trailers You've also got access to the charger and your batteries as well as additional wiring that you might need to pull up to the front. Let's take a look in the back. In the back we have, I keep store my throw cushion back there to give you a cool little storage box. I've got some floats in there, jumper cables, some tools to work on some stuff. Inside here I got lithium batteries. I run three lithiums for my trolling motor. Uh, used to be Stark Power. I think they've been rebranded to a company called Ionic. Can't recommend lithium batteries enough. These actually have a Bluetooth app where I can monitor the, each battery individually to see what the where they're, how the power is coming through them. Power pole pumps. Uh, I've got bumper dock bumpers in here for a dock. It, keep people from scratching up my boat came factory installed with the interstate batteries you can see how well nitro organizes their marine wiring the cable in this thing the way they wire that thing is they have great cable management so this is the easy access to pumps as well as 
I can flip this up and get access to the bilge pumps and uh, all this is very very accessible uh, I think that mostly covers our boat so I just recommend uh, Collins Marine this is where I got my nitro from. Those guys do a they're a great, great company to do business with. I've been doing business with them with them for probably close to 10 years now. They service my Rangers. Uh, now they're servicing they're, they're now they're selling Tritons and Nitros. Being under the White River one one group from Bass Pro Shops. So come see them to buy your nitro. Those guys uh they're located in Smithfield, North Carolina. And uh, like I said, they'll treat you right. They got all different brands. But for my money, the Nitro is probably the best bass boat running out there right now. You cannot beat the value for what you're for what you get out of a boat. Thanks for tuning in to the channel.